there are levels of understanding experience that take us deeper into what it is to be in unity union oneness so i think uh, years ago was a lot talked about unity when brothers dwell together in unity and really that was all to do with beliefs well we agree with one another therefore we're in unity and that's really what not unity is at all it's not about what you believe because that really is what denomination is you know we believe this so we're in unity but actually we're excluding everyone else who doesn't believe that so i think unity had a wrong understanding originally but then one sort of union having union is more of a relational connection and becoming joined together as in the union between husband and wife so there's a sense where two come together in union and they join together and they connect at a level of intimacy which is way more than unity of agreement in the mind or over beliefs so it takes it to another level but then oneness takes it to another level again in that when we become one there's no separation now i'm not becoming god but i am one with him in the spirit and therefore i have access to his mind his heart there's there's like there's no no separation in in sort of essence but i'm not god even if i'm saying i'm one with him he's still god and i'm still me but there's a different level than there was in union and I sort of find that the father took me into a journey to discover what it was to come into a level of oneness in that you're abiding within the presence of God and within face to face relationship and intimacy that it felt like, well, I can't separate myself from this. It was a feeling more than a, a theology if it was what i was feeling when i was in oneness which felt different from being in union and it felt like i'm going on a journey of discovering what it really means to be in that relationship and what that relationship means in uh, my life but also um, in me discovering who i am you know, because I'm made in his image and likeness. Well, what does that mean? I think we all probably got ideas of what we might think that means or what we might like it to mean. But what does it really mean to be made in his image and likeness? What are sons of God? Who, who, what are we? You know, and I think the sort of the, our DNA being, you know, cleansed, transformed back into God's original purpose and intention and in fullness of what that means i think is something which is an ongoing journey and i think most things that we had taught us ha had elements of truth in it but we've gone into a deeper level of truth in regards to that which has made it more simple and less protocol driven more relational you know i look back in my past and a lot of it was all to do with protocol if i did this or if i did this or if i spent time doing this or i spent more time doing that and everything else i would get somewhere whereas now it's more about realizing who i've always been and being in a place where i've always been but didn't know it and the revelation of it comes by the experience of having it which you don't have to do anything for you know so you enter into a state of consciousness or awareness of a reality that god has already always seen you know god always saw that reality you know he's not changed how he views us and i think that's where the sort of evangelical christianity has placed well god changed his view of us when we fell so now he can't look at us because now we're sinful Whereas in reality, God never changed how he saw us. We changed how we saw us. We saw ourselves differently. He never changed how he saw us. And he's brought it back so, so we can actually see who we really are from the vast sum of his thoughts about us and the truth. 
of who he is towards us you know um but it isn't it, it is simple in that we don't have to do anything or earn it or work for it or do some set of things to get there it's just having an unveiling of what is really already true so that we can enter into that reality when we come into agreement with it you know which is the metanoia agreeing with god's mind not trying to reconcile my mind and his mind together in some sort of union of it's not my mind you know my human thinking can never be reconciled to god's thinking you know um, but my thinking can be changed so that i agree with his thinking so it is it is a an interesting uh, thing when you look at journey and you look at the process of the relationship that reveals and unveils the reality of who we really are you know rather than the works that bring us to if you do this and if you do that you get saved you pray this prayer then you get baptized in water then you get baptized in the spirit then you enter an office and there was always this sort of progression that you had to climb a ladder to ascend um, and that meant work you know um but in reality it's like here's the truth i might not believe that truth but god is revealing it so that actually i come into agreement with it which is a very different process really so if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much